In this video, I'd like to talk about converting fractions to percents. And the simple truth is, out of all the conversion problems between fractions, percents, and decimals, this one's probably the most challenging. So we start with this fraction, and we got to write it as some percent. What you'll see is that this is 75%. But the question is, how do we go from here to here? And probably the most straightforward way to do that is to first change it to a decimal and then change it to a percent. So to change it to a decimal, we have to actually carry out long division. Because remember, 3 fourths is really just 3 divided by 4. So we can carry out that long division, change it to a decimal, and then once we have a decimal, we should be able to quickly change it to a percent. So let's go through that process. We'll do the long division. So the number you're dividing by goes on the outside, and the number you're dividing into goes on the inside, and we will need decimal places since we expect this to be some decimal. Now 4 does not go into 3, but 4 does go into 30, and it looks like 7 whole times. We'll multiply, you get 28, and subtract, you get 2 as your remainder, and we bring a 0 down. Oh, and by the way, we've already passed the decimal, so we're just going to bring that up. You get 0.7 something. So we bring the 2 down, you get 4 going into 20, and that looks to be 5 whole times. 5 times 4 is 20. You subtract, and this time you don't have a remainder, so we do not have to bring down any more of the zeros. And so we can stop here. So 3 fourths is equal to 0.75. Now, to change it from a decimal to a percent, what I would recommend doing is just multiplying by 100%. So we'll multiply it by 100%. And 100%, remember, is just 100. And then percent means divide by 100. So this is 100 divided by 100, which is 1. Now, since we're multiplying by 100%, which we know is equal to 1, we're not actually changing the value of this decimal. So when we multiply these together, 0.75 times by 100, that will just move the decimal twice to the right. It'll make it a bigger number. And so that will just be 75. And then the percent will carry along with us. And this answer should make sense because 75% is just 75 divided by 100, which we know is 75 hundredths written as a decimal. So in essence, we found that this 3 fourths is the same thing as 75%. But the process is a little bit tedious, and for especially difficult fractions, this is fairly complicated. But in general, you'll practice long division with your fraction to figure out what it equals as a decimal. Once you get it as a decimal, you multiply it by 100% so that you can change it to a percent. So let's keep going. Let's practice some more examples. Let's say we have something like 5 sixths, and we want to change this to a percent. So the first step is to do long division. So remember, this is the same thing as 5 divided by 6. That's what this fraction bar means. It just means divide. And we're going to put the number we're dividing by on the outside and the number we're dividing into on the inside. And then we'll need lots of decimal places here to try and figure out how many times 6 goes into 5. Now, 6 does not go into 5 a whole number of times, but it does go into 50, and it goes in 8 times. 6 times 8 is 48. We subtract and get a remainder of 2, and you can bring down the 0 here. Now, we already passed the decimal, so we're going to bring that up. So this is 0.8 something. Now, 6 goes into 20 3 times. 3 times 6 is 18. We'll get a remainder of 2. We'll bring down the 0 again, and it's going to repeat. 6 goes into 20 three times, and this process will just continue forever. You can keep bringing down the zero, and you keep asking yourself how many times does 6 go into 20, and it's always going to be 3. So this is equal to 0 0.8, let me rewrite that, 0 0.83, where the 3 is repeating. So we've converted this to a decimal, but now we need to convert it to a, a percent. So let me just restate what we have here by making some room. So what we have is that 5 sixth is 0.83 repeating. 
And we're going to change this to a percent now by multiplying by 100%. Remember, 100% is just 100 divided by 100, which is 1. So we're multiplying it by 1, and we're not changing the value. And before I actually do this, let me rewrite this with a couple more 3s, just so that we can adjust it. Actually, we just need one more 3. But this way, we can adjust as needed. And so 100 times this, we'll just move that decimal twice. And so you get 83.3. And again, the three is just going to keep repeating. And then the percent sign just comes with us. So this becomes 83.3 repeating percent. And again, if you want to double check your work, just think about it in reverse. 83.3 repeating percent, we'll just divide that by 100 and get rid of the percent sign. And then you get 0.83 repeating, changing it back to a decimal. So it does make sense that this is the answer. So 5 6 does equal 83.3 repeating percent. So let's do at least one more. Let's say we have 9 tenths and we want to change this to a percentage. Now, sometimes if it's over 10 over 100, you can quickly write it as a decimal since this is 9 tenths. So we'll put 9 in the tenths place. And this is all we need to do. So likewise, if you had something like 4 over 100, this is 4 hundredths. So you're going to put 4 in your hundredths place, and you don't have any tens. Or if you had, let's say, 54 hundredths, then you can rewrite this as 54, but you put the 4 in the hundredths place, and the 5 would go in the tenths place. So when they're divided by 10, 100, or even something like 10,000, let's say 212 over 10,000, these are all pretty quick to change into decimals because you're dividing by different powers of 10, and our whole number system is built off of the number 10. So that's why this arithmetic is fairly simple. So here we have 212 ten thousandths. So let's put in our place values. There's 10 hundredths, so tenths, I should say, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So you put the two here, the farthest number to the right, that will go in the ten thousandths place, and then you'll just write it in order. The one, then the two, and there's nothing here in the tenth place. So these numbers are easier to write as decimals, and then once you write it as a decimal, you can just multiply by 100% to change it very quickly to a percentage. And we'll move the decimal twice in all of these. You could think of it as 0 0.90, so that this goes twice, and you just get 90, and then the percentage sign stays with you. Likewise, for this one, you multiply by that 100%. So in all of these, the decimal will move twice, so you get 2.12, and then the percent sign comes with us. And for this one, same idea, multiply by 100%. And move the decimal twice. So we're just multiplying by 100 and then adding a percentage sign at the end. So when you're dividing by some power of 10, the process is fairly straightforward. It's only when you have an awkward fraction that you need to do the long division for and change it to a decimal the hard way. So let's do one more challenging problem to finish off the video. Let's say you have the fraction 7 fifteenths. So this will probably be some type of awkward fraction. And remember, this is just 7 divided by 15. So we're going to put 15 on the outside and 7.0000 on the inside. We don't know how many zeros we need, but that's what I'll start with. And now we can start the division. So 15 does not go into 7, but it does go into 70. So the first step, I'm going to move the decimal up because we've already passed it. Now, 15 goes into 70 four whole times, since 4 times 15 is 60. And when you subtract, you get 10. Then you can bring down a 0. So 15 goes into 100. It looks like 6 times, since 6 times 15 is 90. And you're going to get a remainder of 10. And then bringing down a 0 again, it looks like it's going to repeat, because 15 goes into 100, again, 6 times. 6 times 15 would be 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 5 is 30, so that's 90 again. And it just goes on forever. So you get 0.46 repeating. So the 6s repeat 
So we can write this in 0 0.466, those repeat. So we've changed it to a decimal. Now we just need to make it a percentage. So we multiply by 100%. And so the decimal will move twice there. You get 46.6, .6. the six is still repeating, and that's percent. So the fraction 7 fifteenths is simply equal to 46.6 .6 repeating percent.